Hello everyone, this is Teresa Benson, Product Marketing Manager here at Red Lion Controls, and you are in for the second step in learning about Crimson 3.1. Today we're going to set up communications, set an IP address, enable download, we'll set up our web server, we'll link or download something to our HMI, and then we'll view the device from the web server to show that it's working. So I've got my project open that we started last time, the G07 web example. It's a 7-inch graphite HMI. And the first thing that we're going to do is set an IP address. So on the navigation pane, I click on Communications, choose Network. And instead of having the network choose an IP address for me, I want to assign a specific IP address to this HMI. Some companies, what they'll have you do is initially choose uh, to have it configured by DHCP and then once you get an IP address have that change to manual configuration and assign it the IP address that the network gave you. So it's all in how your company handles IP address distribution. In my case I want it to be 192.168.120. I'm going to also go ahead and give it a zero config name. Zero config is a handy feature when you're first working with our products and you're programming and testing things out from a user experience perspective. You can give it a local name and then that name can be used in a web browser so that you can navigate straight to the device with very little additional setup. So I'm going to call this web example and we're going to see this web example HMI over the next several uh, Crimson 3.0 one tutorials and you'll see where that comes into play in a few different areas. The next thing I need to do is tell Crimson if I'm on a network where do I want it to find the information, find um, the IP address to use when downloading new databases. So I'm going to choose Auto Ethernet 1 which is that IP address we set up to begin with. You can pick the local name, you can also pick um, to have a completely different remote address if that's how your IT department sets things up. And so that's really it in terms of setting up communication. We've assigned it the IP address 192.168.1.20. All right. Um, I am going to go ahead and send that IP address down to my HMI. So the way I do it the very first time is I'm going to do it over USB. So on this link menu, I'm going to choose Options. I'm going to choose USB and click OK. All right, now I'm ready to update or send the database. Update is you, the program will look for any differences between what's here and what's on your HMI. Send will completely send the entire database again. So let's just do that. You can do F9 or Shift F9 and it'll just take a moment here. Alright, so we got a message that says that the operation has completed. If we want to see what that looks like on our web browser, we're going to need to set up the web server. So I'm going to come down to web server. All right, so web server is enabled by default. For the purposes of our videos, I'm going to change this to TCP HTTP. And in future episodes, I want to interact with this. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Features, Remote Control, Enabled. That way, if I have data entry, um, I can click on it from a web browser and do data entry that you'll see on the screen. And so I'm going to go ahead and enable that. And I'll update it this time. Again, you can hit F9 and it'll accomplish the same thing. I am downloading via USB. We can switch it over to TCP, which I'll do in a moment, but let's go ahead and have this go. Now, if I open up a browser window and I type 192.168.1.20, that's the web address, or the IP address, I'm sorry, that we gave our HMI, we can see the welcome screen. To change that welcome screen, um, we can come in here to the web server and I can say, hello, and if, and if I send that down to 
uh, my HMI. When I come back to the browser and refresh, now we have uh, something updated. In the last episode, we dragged tag one onto our HMI screen, and so we can see that, that tag one right here. All right. Well, that's it uh, for this episode. Look for uh, working with data tags in our next episode.